What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 video. As always, drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Today, we're going to go over the easiest way to complete Team Affinity 2 full breakdown. So, roll to 10K. Put that in the comment section. We are almost there. I appreciate everybody that takes the time to check out the video. We went over 50,000 views in the past month. I appreciate everybody. Shout out to all the MVPs, Dustin Rhodes, that always watches the full video. Let's get into today's ba -ba 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 banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FAT for 5% off your order. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the simplest method without having to do showdowns at all. So when you get to the first 60, you're going to get the best cards out of the Team Affinity program. So I grabbed this guy right away because I wanted him on the team for shortstop, secondary, third baseman. A great card. 96 power right, 82 power left. Great contact both sides. Plus he has diamond defense. He has a 95 arm with 88 fielding. The showdowns this season take a lot longer than the last season. On this one, you need stolen bases you need a home run with extra base hits the easiest way is the plate appearances i already went through this one time so you want to go to these teams braves marlins nationals mets phillies and you want to fill your lineup with them and either the conquest while you're knocking the conquest out because the conquest you go into single player modes conquest right here is going to give you 30 team affinity so you can do the east one central and the west if i was you i would do all three of them no matter how much you like conquest as you can see i'm about 85 percent done i got a stronghold right here that i'm going to to play right after this video and then i'm working my way right here up to this stronghold who has 25 so i will have that one completed and then you get pecs along the way you get balling as a habit five show pecs and then there's a lot of hidden pecs in here that you can't see anymore make sure that you use the pitchers because they are the easiest to complete you're going to need six strikeouts or eight strikeouts and then with your better sometimes you're going to need three extra base hits or six hits so you can use them versus the cpu or you can use them in the conquest i have two strongholds left okay so once my strikeout is finished if i still got a full game left i will go in and make adjustments to my lineup so we're gonna go over the easiest way to set my lineup so if i come right here to my managed squad at the top if i go over i have a team affinity squad so this is my team affinity squad the easiest way is if you go in there and you push the a or x for substitution and then you push the search filter at the bottom it says filters push the filter button and then you come right here and you push the team and you go to whatever team you need so if it's braves indians red Sox, you will go to them teams and it will show you that substitution is easier so once you do that you come out and it's going to switch to the teams you can go over to secondary you can go over to out of position they don't have to be in the position you just want to stack your team up with them players from that now once you get up to 90 points that's when you want to throw in your two showdowns the showdowns doing two of them takes about 50 minutes to an hour and 10 minutes so it's not the fastest method like it used to be but it does give you 15 points every single time the thing is if you waste 50 minutes to an hour on the showdown and you don't win it it'll be off for nothing 421,831 stubs at the top and that came from my prediction video in the exchange method so if you're not subscribed to the channel you won't get the best tips right away I told y'all what cards to go after and Nick Castellanos and Vladimir Guerrero both had big upgrades so I was able to stack up on at least six cards of them each and make an easy 45 to 60 K stubs and that's exactly what I keep telling y'all so you got to pay attention stay locked in drop a like on the video make sure you are subscribed and turn your notifications on if you are subscribed, unsubscribe, resubscribe, and turn your notifications on so you can make sure that you are alerted whenever I drop the best bangers. I'll see y'all on the next video.